up everyone, GG64 here, and today <clears throat> we are looking at three weapon mods. We are looking at the... Fuck, I forgot what it's called. The M104 Standalone Shotgun by Ashigakura. Then we're looking at the Powerful Gazer um, M11870 Revolver by DM or D Magnus. And finally, we're also looking at the Stun Knife by Mauer77. Now, the Stun Knife and the Shotgun both are, can be crafted at the at any crafting at any chemistry station you want. The 1870 must be bought, uh, but ammo can be crafted. Otherwise, it's but the ammo is not cheap to craft. It's very hard to craft, and it's not exactly a cheap gun, but it's very powerful. This, uh, you can craft it. it. Can be crafted. It can be customized. Has ten different stocks in total, I believe. Lots of customizations options on it. But it is a very powerful weapon. Stun knife. It's just a simple stun knife. Does not have any customization options to it. But it is very small. It's a very small mod. It's very simple. <coughs> and if you just want <coughs> quick stabs, like so. Compared, and then here's the shotgun. It is rather powerful, also. And it can be changed the fire modes on it. And lastly, but not least, the pistol. It can make anyone go down in a single shot. Like so. If you can actually hit with it, of course. But it can make someone go down in almost a single shot, if not a single shot. Like so. The only downside to it is that it has lack of ammo, but is much more powerful. But other than that, if you like these mods and you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll, you can cover more mods. Because, I mean, who doesn't like a good stun knife to stab people with? This is much more a stealth weapon, by the way, if you were curious. Um, this is just, if you want to brute force it, this has 144 damage, and this is the very weak version of it, also. This is not, like, the customized version at all. So this can be, has plenty of room of improvement, and it has special ammo which you can craft in a crafting table, which I have not done at this time, but you can do so, if you would like. And then, of course, there is the... 1870. I don't have any more ammo for it, but it is also a very powerful weapon that can very easily deal. If you're looking for a light weapon that you need to get used to get out of sticky situations every once in a while, it is a great option for you because it is very light. It doesn't have very much ammo is the one downside. It's hard to get ammo for it, but it is well-versed in... Uh, I, it is well, way up there in damage. Like, let me pull it up real quick. Like, yeah, the stun knife, uh, this is with, like, full perks and all of that, by the way. is only at 62 damage with the very fast. The, not the right way for the weapon. The 1870 revolver is 149 damage. It has a very slow fire rate, but that is way up there with damage. Like, even this... Only ha okay, never mind. This is a shotgun, so I guess that makes sense. But like, even all of these pistols aren't really keeping. It. Like, even this, the Peacekeeper, which is from another mod, isn't ridiculously overpowered compared to it. That's cool. I'm I mean, the Peacekeeper now. is also a much better Think pistol if you really want one. But this one isn't really more friendly at all compared to the 1870 revolver, which is much more lore-friendly, but harder to use because it has fewer ammo to find, and it's harder to craft the ammo if you so choose to. But yeah, if you like this content and you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, trying to reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I think we can do it. It's a big number, I know. But until then, I'll see you all in the next episode, guys.